Hello guys and welcome to the third video for today. We're going to be solving a very big sum. That's it. <laughs> Calculate and bring the elements in an array, keeping in mind that some of those integers may be quite large. Complete the a very big sum function in the editor below. It must return the sum of all array elements. A very big sum has the following parameters, R, an array of integers. The first line of input consists of an integers, of integer n. The second line contains n space separated integers contained in the array. And then they give us the constraint here, and then some sample. So, mm, this is fine. Note the range of 32-bit integers is that okay? When we add several integers, one of these resulting might exceed the above range. So they're saying that don't use integers. You might need to use long, long int in C, C++, or long data type in Java to store such sum. All right, uh, this isn't bad. So I know that we can elegantly do this in Python. So I'm going to do a Python again here. And this is going to blow our minds out. So this is the reason why a lot of people use Python for some things is because you can do something like this. Um, and that's it. And uh, they should be able to go ahead and work if we're just adding and there we go a one-liner uh, we can also accomplish the same thing in Java ooh look at that first star ooh <laughs> alright uh, let's implement this in Java because like I said most of my followers are Java people and we can use the uh, streams API for Java and um, I have read a lot on the streams API the Java is, uh, 8 and currently I'm using the Java JDK version 11 and they've added some new features with string manipulation that I've currently been reading about overall the strings API is really great uh, if you know how to use it and it kind of makes your code a little bit more um, what's the word it takes away most of the logic away from it so you don't really care about what you're really writing because this problem we can apply the um, first problem that we solved for this one right break it down into halves and then do all of that but with the Java API uh, they can do it in parallel for you and so you don't really have to know the underlying details about how um, the functions are actually working but since they do have the utils slash here so let's do it the easy way um you can use the so this return and then i'm going to use the arrays class and then use the stream method all right and then we can pass in the array and then just use the uh sum method and that's it and this should go ahead and this should work the other way around would if you had something like a listener phase then you can use the parallel stream instead like you've seen in my other java videos but this works as well so let's go ahead and run this all right and let's run that all right guys uh this will be it for this video if you um like the video please give me a thumb up and subscribe to my channel i'll see you guys in the next video have a good night bye bye